Hi, Alex here from Reveloper.com and welcome back to the Christmas calendar tutorial series. And in this video and the next one, I will be talking about Keychain in Swift. So let's get started. Okay, now data persistence. How can you save your data of your users, of your game, of your app? Well, there are three major ways to do that. User defaults, keychain, and core data. Now, user defaults is for small things like next level or something like that, the color of uh, some default values of your users. But you need to use a keychain for storing uh, sensitive data like user passwords or anything like that. So, and of course, core data is a much more larger topic that we are not going to cover today. But I have thought that Keychain is kind of scary to take a look at first, but we are going to demystify Keychain today and in the next video because we are going to talk about everything you need to know about Keychain, how to save data and get data from the Keychain. Now, again, just to a reminder, Keychain is important because you can store your sensitive data and it is very, very secure. Okay, we are going to use a GitHub repository, an awesome GitHub repository called Keychain Swift. I don't want to pronounce really the name of the author, but go ahead, click the link down below and you will be taken to the links, all of the resources that are required for this tutorial, including the GitHub repository link. Okay, now what we what are we going to build out? Well, let us just go ahead and uh, download uh, the uh, starter project and it will look like something like this. Of course, you will not have the Xcode workspace, so but you will have your pod file. So let me just show you what's inside the pod file. First of all, the platform is iOS 12. If you are going to do this from scratch, go ahead and make this the platform for iOS 12. And the uh, tiny constraints is important and keychain swift. And here we have our version numbers. So uh, that's that. Uh, go ahead and take a look at the other file inside the resources. I believe that I, at the moment there is only one file with extra content where you have all of the links uh, with YouTube videos where you can find out more about custom Xcode plan templates, uh, tiny constraints and so on. Uh, basically the stuff that I don't want to cover in this video because we need to talk about keychain. Okay, and we don't want to talk about tiny constraints, but it's such an awesome UI view um, lay auto layout uh, tool. Okay, so uh, uh, let me just uh, uh, install this pod file. So open up terminal. Let me make this with command plus a little larger. Type in cd and the space. Uh, go ahead and drag and drop your root folder of your project and hit return. Type in pod in it, not pod uh, or pod install because pod in it creates the pod file and pod install basically installs all of the necessary pods. Okay, now you will be able to see your Xcode workspace. So go ahead and open that up. And here we have our Keychain Swift tutorial. Now uh, you will have a bunch of files here, but first of all, let me just uh, build and run. Uh, so you may see uh, how our starter project looks like and what we are going to build out. Well, you will be presented with a set view controller where we set all of our keychain data. We will have here, and if you just tap on it, it's a button where you can choose a photo. So let's, uh, let me just show you why I are going to choose this photo. Let's choose that. Great. Now uh, we have a name field where we can type in Alex or something like that. We can set our account like an Instagram account or a Facebook account to be set private. And that is need that needs to be stored in a keychain. So maybe the, even the name or the email or a password. 
but we are going to uh, set all of these free because they are of different types. Uh, more specifically, we have a UI image that will be stored as data in our keychain. We have a string for the name and we have a boolean value for our is account private value. So this is, we have a set button. Of course, we want to take a look at how to delete our keys and we are going to just delete our name and we want to see how we can clear all of the keychain. So uh, this red button clear keychain does that. Now, once we set all of these three, let's say properties or keys to our keychain, let's go to our get view controller where we will be presented with, uh, this is basically not a button, it's a UI image view. We will have our image inside this uh, UI image view. We have two labels with the name private account true or false and once we do hit this get button we will get all of this from our safe keychain okay that is it for uh, today in the next video we are going to talk about how to use keychain to uh, uh, x to being accessed from different apps and from different uh, targets. So that is something awesome that you need to uh, take a look at. So go ahead and uh, that will be the next video and it is coming tomorrow. Okay, now back to our example. First of all, we want to uh, save, let's say, let's just save the UI image uh, uh, from our UI image view. So uh, let's select our set view controller because that's where we yeah, one last thing before we do that, just to make sure that your uh, app runs uh, smoothly when you want to create something similar like this, make sure that privacy, camera usage, description, and uh, where is it? Privacy, privacy, uh, photo library usage description is set into your info plist file. I just uh, set the value to get profile image. Okay, this is because we want to present the UI image picker view. Okay, and we need to ask uh, our users to grant us access. Finally, let's go to our set view controller and let's import a keychain Swift. Okay, that is that. Now we want to create a keychain. So let's create it here. Let keychain equals keychain Swift. And now you have two options and uh, uh, let me just talk a little briefly about that at the parentheses here and you can see that we can have a key prefix for this and for the sake of this tutorial we will have a key prefix and I will set it to let's say rebeloper and underscore. It doesn't really matter. This uh, is useful when you want to test out your um, app uh, and not go into production uh, uh, user diff a uh, keychain. Uh, this is uh, going to be used when the key, when the value is saved and uh, this string is added at the beginning of the key. Let's say we have a key for, let's say, a name. So uh, the rebeloper underscore name will be the whole key. But of course you don't need to remember this uh, key prefix. Uh, you just add on the name prefix. Okay. Uh, uh, that is that. Now, uh, let's, uh, let me just uh, show you uh, how to, let's just scroll all the way down to our objective C, uh, set into keychain button tabbed because that is what is called when we tap on the set button. So let's use this keychain and uh, well, first of all, let us just create uh, data. So let image data equals and uh, let's grab our profile image buttons uh, image view dot image uh, and that is the yeah, well let, let's just call this an image and I believe we need to guard uh, let unwrap it uh, else let's hit a return uh, there. 
Great. Now, we do have our image. Well, if we do have our image, then we need to create our data. So let image data equals, and it is a very uh, straightforward with Swift 4.2. Just uh, add a dot and JPEG data and compress quality, let's say 1.0, because we don't want to lose any quality. You could use also PNG data if you wanted to. Now, let us just save this, and that is pretty straightforward. So, what we need to type in here is keychain, and just type in set. And as you can see, we have a value for bool, data, and string. And of course, we have with access control, and we uh, are going to talk about these access uh, options, keychain swift access options, because if we use all of the first three, access uh, options will be the default one. And I believe always allow or something like that is the default one. We'll take a look at that. But let us just talk about uh, this keychain swift access options. Okay, first of all, let's add our image data. And for the key, I will create, well, you need to add a string, but I will create and I will add it all the way up here. We are going to create a struct. So we are not going to mess around with typos. And let me just call this keys or keys. Yes. And static. Uh, let and let's say profile image. Here we go. Profile image. Okay. And now we can use this uh, key. Here we go. Let me just delete this. So keys and profile image. Now you can uh, go ahead and uh, arrange this in another way. Let's say you have something, some other keys, go ahead and add them there. Now let's go into our with access and it is optional. Uh, let me just hit a dot here. Uh, rather yet, let us just take care of uh, this uh, issue here. Yes, um, I, probably it is an optional. Yes. So I will just add all of uh, this and hit the comma and add it in the guard let unwrapping. Okay, and let me hit a return before the else. So now uh, this should be great. So let's type in keychain swift access options, keychain swift access options and hit a dot and you will see all of the available um, access options, access after first unlock, access after first unlock this device only, and it is self-explanatory. But what I want to do is access always. Of course, you could use any other thing that you want. I will use access um, accessible always. Okay. Now, and that is it. Believe it or not, we have saved, well, set our data into our keychain. Now. Uh, if you just go uh, to uh, this uh, definition for the set, you will see and that, let me just wait for it for Xcode to jump right into there. You will see that it is, it has a discardable result and the discardable result is bool. I will talk about discardable results in a future video because I really love them. So this means that this could uh, either execute on its own or it could return a Boolean value. So uh, first of all, let us just type in here, if, if this is true, so the return is true, then let's print out, let's say, set, pretty straightforward, as, let's print out, did not set. Okay, let me just add that into this Great. Now, let us just build and run and see what we get in the log. Okay. Uh, let's go there. Build and run. And select an image because if we don't have an image, it will just return and it will not say anything either in the logs or in the user interface. So let's hit set here. And uh, 
you can see that the log says set. Let me just make this a little larger so you may see. So we have set our profile image. That is awesome. Now let us just get our profile image. So let's go to our get view controller and let's just scroll all the way down to the get from keychain button tab. Again, we need to import uh, keychain Swift. We need to create an instance of our keychain equals, let me just copy uh, that with the prefix because it is, yeah, let me just add in here static lat prefix equals and copy this and we'll name this key prefix and then let's add this to keys dot key prefix and now I can copy it. Okay, let's go there and instantiate our keychain. Now it's time to scroll all the way down to the get from keychain button tab. And now uh, let's just type in keychain and get. Let's just build and run because we, I believe it, we are not getting auto completion. And there we go. We can get a string, a bool or a data. We are going to uh, get our uh, data. Okay, for the key, and again, this is keys dot and the profile image. Okay, now uh, we need to uh, use this result. So uh, let image data equals keychain get keys uh, from profile image. Okay, now. Um, we are not using this and of course we might get some errors. This is optional, but I will just simply show you. Uh, let's just type in keychain and I believe is last result code. Uh, if it not equals, uh, I believe it's no error, then we want to, let's say, print out keychain last result code uh, that is optional but you could use that okay uh, oh you need to have an if here okay uh, that's it for uh, our grabbing our image data now we need to set it into our image uh, UI image view so first of all let's create an image let image equals uh, UI image and we are going to use the data initialization with data image data. Of course we uh, need to guard let unwrap it guard let and else let us just return. Okay and finally what we need to do well, let me just hit build here so we may get all that error away. Okay, finally, uh, profile image view image equals the image that we have extracted. And I believe, again, we need to have uh, this unwrapped or rather yet not because this is an optional too. Okay, uh, now it's time to test this out. So let's build and run again and see if everything works fine and why not it should work fine with a few lines of code we are ready so let's choose our photo here again real quick and there we go and let's set it okay and uh, again uh, this is set uh, okay now uh, let's go to our get view controller and let's uh, get our data and as you can see it is populated instantly pretty great stuff and of course we are not printed out any uh, last result code if there is an error okay now let us just do the same thing for our uh, name and our account private and that is a boolean so let's go to our set view controller let's just scroll the way all down there we go 
Now, this will not be as uh, sophisticated, it will be quite simple. So first of all, uh, uh, let us just check if we do have some strings in or a string in our text field. So if name text field dot text uh, is not equal to an empty string, then we can move on. So what we want to do, we are not going to use this if else statement. We are going to uh, just use keychain set keychain dot set and the value is uh, name text field dot text and I believe we need to unwrap it but uh, yes we need to unwrap it so let us just add here guard let let's say name equals name text field Let me take this a little further up and text else let us just simply return and we will add the name string here and let's create another key let's create all of the keys i believe it's time so let's add here a static let name equals name and another static let equals let me just copy that out it's much faster okay let's just scroll all the way down where we left off and the key is keys and we should have this name with access and i will just use accessible always dot accessible always okay and that is it we are set okay next up is the uh, bool value so Let's guard let, let's unwrap is account private equals, and here we have an is account private, I believe it's a switch, is private switch and is on. So we want to check if it is on, and I believe it's not a guard let, we are simply setting this as a let. So let us just set this to our keychain, keychain dot set. And this time we are going to use the bool value and is account private for key, key, keys, and is account private and dot access. I, I believe I need to copy this out and paste it in and there. And that is it. Let's hit Command B so uh, we may see that uh, the build has succeeded and indeed it did. So let's go back to our Get View Controller and add all of these elements from our keychain. So uh, first of all, let's have our let name equals keychain dot get. Uh, key uh, we need a string so it's a simple get and the key is keys and the name pretty straightforward now we need to have our name label text equals to name and let's add in here our name uh, rather yet I believe we need to guard let unwrap this again because we might get, uh, or rather yet, uh, we need an if let, because if the image for fails or the name fails, we still want to go further with other stuff. So that's how we should do it. Let's copy this out, paste it in there, and let's have an if let statement here. Okay, and uh, instead of return, we want to add all of this. A little bit of smart refactoring. Now, let's do the same for our uh, is account uh, private boolean. So if let is account private equals keychain 
dot and now we are going to get the bool value keys for is account private pretty straightforward now uh, if is account private and here we have an s because now we need to set the is account and uh, is private or something like this let me just take a look at the label is private label okay so is or rather yet self dot is private label dot text and that will be equal to let me just go all the way up and private account I would just copy this out and paste it in there true and copy all of this line out and set this to false okay and that is it for the code now let's build and run and see all of the awesome changes let's add in our photo and there we go let's add our name and let's set this to private okay now let's get our data we don't have anything just yet we need to uh, tap on the get and here we go name alex proud private and here we have no now we need to delete some data and we need to clear our keychain and that is pretty straightforward and that is what we are going to do for the last part of this episode in the meantime i said all of uh, these if statements uh, for uh, debugging purposes okay let's delete the button and that is pretty straightforward and again we will use this if keychain delete and let's delete key and keys dot name and let's print out deleted name and else we are not going to print out anything okay let's check out that and see if we do get some a deletion okay let's go first of all let's go to get and let's get our data as you can see data has been persisted uh, throughout the launches of the app now let's delete our name it says deleted name great let's go to our get and tap on the get button and as you can see name is not available and great finally we want to clear all of the keychain and that again is simply typing in if keychain and clear and let's print out okay so let's build and run and clear all of the keychain okay uh, let's just double check if we do have everything yes we do let's uh, clear the keychain cleared keychain now let's try to get it nothing is of course this is refreshed but we cannot see it but the keychain is emptied now that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos now in the next video we are going to share the keychain with other apps and with other targets so i hope you enjoyed this one and as usual i will see you in the next one